When you watch a show like this, it gives you a sense of perspective. <laughs> Shouldn't all our uh, elected representatives at Capitol Hill be watching this show so they've got a sense of perspective? <laughs> you see, what I'm trying to do here is this. Whether you're a congressman or whether you're a senator or whether you're the president of the United States, whether you're speaker of the house or whether you're just an evil lobbyist scurrying around the corridors of power. If you put your party politics before this country, ay caramba! Man, with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Sears. There's a better way to say Sears, where better happens. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. persuaded me to keep the show open. Yes, we're yeah. going to keep the show open. Yeah. We are not closing the show down. <laughs> Why? Because we're professional. <laughs> right? And we're desperate. <laughs> <laughs> no, these bastards in Washington are desperate. They've shut it down, haven't they? Yeah, those bastards. Yes, yeah, bastards. <laughs> yeah, those bastards. However, I won't let them stop me saying, it's a great day for America, everybody. It is. It is another bad day for American government. They're still shut down tighter than Bruce Jenner's forehead. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> His forehead didn't even look like that while he was diving or anything. <laughs> Did he dive? Is that part of the the the, 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 the task yeah. long thing? Just, yeah. I don't know. I think it's all track and field. Yeah, he might have. Who knows? He, he, he might have died. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> That's not really the point this evening, is it? Right, no. Uh, do we have a graphic for the government shutdown? It's day two. We malo. Oh, right. Yeah, that's, uh, that's right. John Adams spoke Spanish and invented the beer helmet, apparently. <laughs> Jeez. That is true. That's true. It's not true. Oh, all right. All right, anyway, now so far the, the, the ones hit harder by the government's shutdown are, of course, tourists, because all the national parks are closed. Where will people go for anonymous sex? <laughs> well, we still have the airport bathrooms, but that's only for senators, and we can't all use them. <laughs> I, when I go to an airport bathroom now, it's only in a, it's strictly in an emergency. I, I won't go in there in case somebody, you know, taps me. <laughs> So tapping. <laughs> anyway, uh, National Park employees don't know when they'll see another paycheck, which is not good. On the way, on the way uh, to work today, I saw Smokey the Bear drunk off his ass. <laughs> he was lighting chickens on fire. <laughs> In New York, the Statue of Liberty is closed. No government means nobody is allowed near that beautiful gift from France. And the French were like, eh. <laughs> then they heard about the Statue of Liberty. 
Uh, we don't care, actually. <laughs> These have no importance yeah, to me. Yeah, we don't care. You know, uh, we don't. <laughs> Personally, I don't think people pay enough attention to the fact that the National Zoo is closed. That panda cam has been dark for 48 hours. Who knows what craziness those pandas are up to now? They could be sitting up, they could be rolling over. One of them might have moved its paw. They might be going crazy. They might be making the other animals do chores for them. You, monkey, fetch me soda. Because <laughs> this is what pandas talk yeah, like. Right, yeah. Only when the camera's not. Is the camera on? No. Right, get me soda, monkey. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know I'm wrong? Is the panda cam on? No. So, prove me wrong then. <laughs> Uh, with the government shutdowns already hurting our uh, standing abroad, Pres President Obama had to cancel a visit to the Philippines, and Bill Clinton was outraged. He's like, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> they got great strip clubs in Manila. Anyway, there's a, <laughs> there's a report today that the CIA has stopped paying some of its spies. I'm like, this is not good. What kind of a democracy doesn't pay people for betraying their friends? <laughs> now, how can I afford poison sushi? <laughs> That's right, because Dracula is now... <laughs> Dracula works for the CIA. Yeah, right, yeah. Didn't you see that in Homeland? Yeah, they've introduced it in yeah, Homeland. Yeah, yeah he's like, Dracula. I am now working for CIA. <laughs> but I, I'm no good to you during the day. <laughs> yes, yeah, so if you want me to spy, it'll have to be... I <laughs> uh, The shutdown is already having an effect on the economy. The stock market closed way down today. In fact, so many white guys got screwed today on Wall Street, they've renamed it Broadway. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And that, and that. <laughs> and that was tonight's joke stolen from Jay Leno. Let's do the graphic. <laughs> I'm not sure why we started doing that as a bit, but we have, and there you are. Anyway, I'm talking about the government shutdown. One of the stumbling blocks is the House Speaker John Boehner is very angry with the President. You'd be angry too if everyone, you know, kept saying your name was Boner and it's Boehner. <laughs> it's Boehner! All right, it's Boehner. Boner, Boner! The Speaker uh, of the House, uh, Boehner, uh, Boner. He wrote an op-ed piece in the USA Today, but I don't read anything in US Today unless it has a pie chart next to it, so sorry. Boner. <laughs> and also sorry, Speaker of the House. You see what I did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were apologizing to your, your penis. To, to yeah. your... I never had to apologize to my penis. Actually, I should apologize to my penis. <laughs> I've it's been places I probably best. <laughs> Republicans are hoping the Democrats will eventually give in, but I am not sure, because if you're waiting for Nancy Pelosi to blink, you might be waiting a while. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's technically possible. Anyway, the government shutdown is a very divisive issue. Families are being torn apart, mostly by the zoo animals that are escaping while <laughs> nobody is watching. I'll say one thing, though. This would never happen in Canada because they're, they're politicians of dignity, especially that, you know, uh, morbidly obese crack-smoking mayor of Toronto. <laughs> Allegedly. He's overweight and smokes crack. I mean, is, I, that's almost impossible. I don't know you could. It doesn't, doesn't make sense. Doesn't add. That, I didn't know you could do that. No. I mean, I did meth and. Right, yeah. <laughs> you know, it, this shutdown makes me mad enough to run for office. I would do it. I Because I'm sick of those. <laughs> I... well, here's the thing, though. I would. I, I, 
I would do it, but I, I got some skeletons in my closet. And actually, I also have one that came out of the closet. So there. <laughs> Oh, I don't know, though. Ferguson Peterson, let's make a sensible America. An immigrant and a gay robot skeleton. Let's do it, man. Let's, let's do it, man. Let's, let's, let's get to Capitol Hill and say, hey, oh, you back to work. <laughs> Perhaps a new speaker of the house. All right, uh, that's it, I'm done. I'm gonna shut it down. Everything's getting shut down. For the commercials. You, you want me to shut down then? Are we shutting down? Yeah, shut down. There you go. Uh, <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. where we're still open for business, even although, even although sometimes many of us here disagree with each other, vehemently disagree with each other, but yet, when it comes right down to it, we get out here and provide crap entertainment for free. <laughs> Good, I like that. Yeah, you think that should be our slogan? Yeah, man. Crap entertainment for free. Crap entertainment for free. Ferguson Peterson and Secretary. Crap entertainment in yeah, yeah, that's for it. free. Yeah. Nobody will vote for that. No. <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's tweet mail time brought to you by the Ferguson Peterson campaign. We've got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> wait, wait. Why are you putting bone in the title? That that would imply you're more powerful than me. <laughs> Well, I am plugged into the wall. I am capable of going over and unplugging you. I'd like to see you try. I might. Then you'll be shut down and I'll be over there. Yeah. It's not going anywhere, no, this. Uh, no. It started well, but then it kind of meandered into just a ridiculous behavior. That's all right. That's all right. It's free. <laughs> free. You know, that's true. Yeah. What time is it? Oh, you did. You did. Yeah. Do I do a jingle? You want to play a jingle? You a jingle. We just play one, man. Really? Do we, do we, do we have a good one in the hopper? No, no, no. Play one and we'll see. <laughs> This is uh, from Daphne in Nashville, Tennessee. Don't know if you can tell, Daphne's a tit. You see that? Oh, yeah. And uh, what is that right next to her? It's, uh, it's wood. Oh, so that's uh, the tit is on the wood. Yeah. All right. Well, that, that looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> this is from uh, Daphne in Nashville, Tennessee. Who says, Craig, who is your favorite member of One Direction? The hell, man. I, I don't really, I'm not really familiar. I know that they're the ones that, uh, they're the, the one, the, the, the group du jour. Yeah, right. You know, that's French for the group of today. Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't, I don't, I don't know their names. It's uh, Regis, Corky, Bingo, Ted, and Sparkles. Yeah, right? that's right. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know their names. Do you know their names? No, I like, whichever one is of legal age, I like that. I don't know. I don't know what age they are. I don't I, either, man. All right, okay. I, I, I suppose my favorite uh, is uh, whatever yours is. Uh, the one with his hair combed forwards in that kind of weird way that looks like he's standing with his back to a very strong wind. Yeah, yeah, he's cute. He's cute. Yeah, what's his name? Sparkles? Yeah, Sparkles. Yeah, all right. Well, Sparkles cute. is That's my favorite. Is that your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's familiar with them either, are you? No, all right. This is from uh, Lana in Columbus, Georgia. You ever been there? Oh, hell yeah. What a place that is. Beautiful it? place. It's fantastic. You know when you drive into Columbus, Georgia, what is the first thing that strikes you about that oh, town? The buildings. The buildings. They're Beautiful amazing. The buildings. Dear Craig, Jeff, and Secretariat, are any of you real? <laughs> no, we're all played by actors. What is real? 
I don't know, what is real? Okay, um, this is from Danny in Knoxville, Tennessee. I, uh, what is that? Is that a duck? Yeah, that looks like a mallard of something. Mallard, mallard duck. <laughs> uh, Daddy says, okay, I give up. How do you win an argument with your girlfriend? Well, you don't. You can win an argument with your ex-girlfriend, but you can't win an argument with your current girlfriend. <laughs> Why can't you win an argument with your girlfriend, Jeff? Why, why can't you win an argument with your girlfriend? Because she has the vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that revolted, revolted round of applause from the audience. They were like, please move on to the next thing. Uh, Landon in Richmond, Virginia, uh, he says, uh, you ever been there? Oh, See, when you drive into Richmond, what's the thing that... Uh, oh, the, uh, the roads are the just roads beautiful. There, yeah. <laughs> just beautiful, man. Hi, Craig and Jeff. Is now a good time to begin our correspondence about the future of the Middle East? <laughs> no, no, I, I don't think we should do that right now. Uh, or, uh, or ever. How the hell did that get in the park? I don't know. I think it went to the wrong show. I think it was for Charlie Rose or something. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> this is from David in Minnetonka in Minnesota. You ever been Minnetonka? to Minnetonka? Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Minnetonka, that. Yeah, man. That's the place. That's the way you See, when I drive into Minnetonka, I feel that feeling in my pants. Yeah, man. Because you got, you got to go to the bathroom. Cause yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's a long drive from Sleepy Eye, Wisconsin, which is where I came from. Very long drive. Sleepy Eye, Wisconsin to Minnetonka, Minnesota. Do you know how long that is? How long is that? It's, it's uh, an amount of miles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't even read it now. All right. Uh, this is from Sandy in College Park in Maryland. Oh, I love it in Maryland, don't you? Oh, I love it. What did we get in Maryland again? Crabs. Crabs, there you are. <laughs> Sandy says, uh, hi, Craig and Jeff. Uh, how do you know the right amount of times to ring the bell? Well, it's very simple. It's a very simple... Uh, this bell works a very simple... I'm going to say simple again to make it sound simple. Simple. Yeah. Simple. Simple. <laughs> simple. <laughs> simple. <laughs> I press the bell once. I pretend to be German. I press the bell for a second time, Jeff. I am still German. Still German. <laughs> I press the bell for the third time. You could be German still you if could you wish. You could be German still if you German. <laughs> it's conceivable you could be still German this is after true. three rings of the bell. Four rings of the bell. We talk like Dracula. Talk like Dracula. <laughs> now, if I do five, five, count them, one, two, three, four, five, five rings of the bell. That means I'd like to order a room service. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, yes, sir. Uh, what can I get you? Hold on, I'll get the phone. All right. <laughs> Hello, this is Dr. Acula. Ah, uh, yes, uh, good evening, Dr. Acula. How can I help you? Yes, I'd like to order something from room service. All right, well, you want us to uh, remove the garlic as per your specifications, sir? <laughs> yes, but you don't know what I'm going to order yet. It well, might, just, not, just whatever it might it not have garlic in it. I mean, if I order something without garlic, then you don't have to remove the garlic because there's no garlic in it in the first place. Uh, all of our foods are garlic-based, sir. Please go ahead with your order. Thank you. How are you able to do that without moving your mouth? I'm on the phone, sir. I'm not a uh, robot. Uh, oh, I see. Uh, uh, <laughs> I see. I've done the other way. Yeah, what the hell? All right, all right. Oh, no, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I'd like to order some meat. Meat? All right, what kind of meat, sir? we got different kinds of meat. Horse meat. Horse meat? Yes. <laughs> yes. Also, I would like to order some cheese. Some cheese and horse meat, sir. Yes. <laughs> kind, of a, kind, of a, kind of a bad combination, sir. It's, yes. It's what I like. It's right. what I like. Do you want the uh, front end of the horse or the back end, sir? Uh, what's tastiest? <laughs> I'm uh, getting, getting a sign from my manager. It's the back end of the back end. Yes, yes, sir. All right. Look, I have to go. 
I'm still here. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're right back over there. Tonight is a best-selling author and a well-respected economist. He's a good friend of mine and the show. Please welcome Ben Stein, everybody. Ben Stein. Craig, you me? look sensational, may well, I you say. You look sensational too, sir. Have you been on vacation? You look like you've got a I've time. spent the whole summer in North Idaho on my boat on a beautiful lake called Lake Ponderé. Oh. Yes. I love Lake Ponderé. What is it when you drive up to Lake Ponderé? What's the first thing that hits you right there? <laughs> well, it's a very, very big lake. It's the big lake, yeah. It's, 40, that's what I... it's 45 miles long and uh, 1,800 feet deep. Very, and it's deepest point. It's very why would you, you why do you need it to be deep if you well it was, just, it, was, it was just made that way when the glaciers broke up and formed the lake they gouged a very deep hole in the earth great now listen i want to talk to you about the uh, <laughs> you're an economist yes right I you're can. a republican yes all right so uh, talk me through this what's going on because uh, to be honest all, all i am i'm just kind of annoyed that they're stopping work like that. Okay, I'm gonna. You want a serious answer, or do you want a? I'll give you a serious. Answer. Serious, absolutely. Okay, I, serious I, want, answer. I, I want a clear answer okay, though, be, because I'm okay, not I'm, that I'm, bright. I guess you're incredibly bright. Because because the Republicans are so furious at Obama and the Democrats for getting Obamacare passed, which they did not like at all. They're right. so furious at Obama. Period for trouncing them in two elections. They're so furious at the Democrats in the Senate for being so high-handed with them that they're just basically saying, "What's that coming to go? We're going to close." The government down rather than let you enact Ob Obamacare. It's quite irresponsible. It's not a good idea. I don't like it. It's not my part of the Republican Party that's doing it. But they're doing it. And the National Park thing, I could not give a crap about the National Park. Oh, come on, Ben. But the, uh, but There's animals out there that are waiting on checks. <laughs> well, actually, so you, you have part of it right, because the Republicans are furiously mad at all the people who are waiting on government entitlements. There's, a, like, a big part of the country wants government entitlements of all kinds, and a big part of the country says, Ooh, la, la. we're sick of paying you this, and we're going to close the government down, even, even if it's just for a few days, rather than pay you this money. But is isn't the act of closing the government down sort of indicative as a, of a contempt of process? Well, it, you know, it is. Yes, it, it is. Yes. And, and, and almost to the point, like, you, know, you know, of course, you're a student of history. You remember when uh, Caligula made his horse a senator? He made his horse a consul. A consul? Yes. Well, it's, it, it, I mean, the point is he made his horse an elected yes. representative. Uh, I, 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 even higher than that. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. And, and I think that that showed a great contempt for process. I think it show, this shows a great contempt for process. This is not being done by Republicans who are more traditional conservative economists, uh, e economically or any other way. Look, I'm with the Republican Party all the way about guns, all the way about a whole bunch of subjects, all the way about a strong defense, but this is just plain irresponsible. So is, there I, a, is there a split in the Republican Party? There? Is that clearly, what we're there's clearly a split in the Republican Party, but the more dynamic part of it, the part that's getting votes, is, I'm sorry to say, the more irresponsible part. So that's the problem. The, the part of it that's the sort of old guard, like me, old and guarded. No, no, is, you're, uh, look at your youthful and tan with your yeah, boat in the big lake. Exactly. The, 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 we, we think we should keep the government open. Uh, and by the way, whatever's happening now about keeping the government open, it, it's annoying about the, about the parks, it's annoying about the museums. It's really bad about the soldiers in Afghanistan. No kidding, They're not yeah. getting hot meals. They're not getting their bunks adequately uh, taken care of. Is that true? Yes, it's absolutely true. Really? I get emails from them saying, we usually when we go out on patrol, we come back and we get a hot meal. Now they're not getting them. They're getting those horrible MREs that come in aluminum foil packets, and they're just like eating horse meat, one might say, and uh, they, and they are, and, and uh, 
and, they're, and they're, they're, they're very upset about it. They're, they say we feel like we're being disrespected and spat on, and we're the ones who are going and doing the fighting. So what's this all about? And what, what is this all about? I mean, there's no long-run point to it except to spit at Harry Reid. And he's just laughing all the way to the bank because it just means the Democrats are going to pick up seats in the next election. Do you think that's what's going to happen? Do you oh, think, yeah. I, I mean, mean it, look, but isn't it this bad for the Democrats ultimately No, as well? I don't think it is. I think the media plays it, and, and frankly plays it correctly, as a Republican problem, or as the Republicans being at fault here. Look, if Obamacare is that bad, why are all these millions of people signing up for it? Why are all the switchboards and, uh, and uh, email accounts jammed yesterday? If Obamacare is that bad, why did Mr. Nixon 40 years ago propose something vaguely similar? I mean, it's not, it's just... And you worked for Nixon. I, I wrote the message sending up that bill to Congress that right. when I was a 28-year-old lad. So that was, uh, but it, it, it just makes no clear sense except as an expression of frustration. You, as a biblical scholar and a devout mm -hmm. Christian, will know the story of Sam Samson, of Samson pulling down the temple. He was so frustrated and upset at being blinded and so forth that he pulled down the temple. Right. And this is the Republicans pulling down the temple just because they're so frustrated. But it's nothing compared to what happens in roughly two weeks if the government defaults on the debt. Does that, and I mean, no, I, I, I've heard about the, the, the defaulting on the debt, but that can't possibly happen. It could yeah. happen. It could happen. I mean, the, the people have just gotten so nutty in Washington that anything could happen. I mean, it's just, they're just off the rails and it's very unfortunate there's I, I don't question that they're all sincere I don't question that the Tea Party people are incredibly sincere but there is a scary lack of sanity in Washington right now it's just it's like they're all on spice or some other horrible drug <laughs> I have to say, I think in the 10 years I've been doing the show, that's your first round of applause for anything political. <laughs> I think I would, I, I, I was going to say the joke about Nancy Pelosi was the funniest joke I've ever heard you tell. <laughs> I might have gotten applause for that too. Well, you know, I do try and stay out of the fight a lot, but when but when they can't get their jobs done, it makes me furious. I'm an American citizen. I'm allowed to get. It's angry absolutely this, infuri it's infuriating. I mean, if the if the if the Republicans, if we Republicans really had our wits about us, we'd say, look, we're, that's already a law. It's already a law. That that bus has already gone. That ship has sailed. That plane has taken off. Whatever you want to say. So, in Schoolhouse Rock, I remember. It. I saw it when you when you got, <laughs> when you got a bill going to. <laughs> That's what it is, right? Yeah, now, ju just let the damn thing go through, and if it's really that bad, then in the next session of Congress, fix it. But it's just crazy to be throwing a, 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 a monkey wrench, spanner, as you would say, mm -hmm. into, the, into the whole works of, gear, uh, of the gears of the government. It's just, it, it, there's just no sense to it. So uh, as a member of the Republican Party, then? For, for a lot longer, I may add, than most of the people in Congress. Well, well what's, what are you going to do? What are you going to do as a Republican within well, this I've to read, try I've to change I've written it? about it a lot, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm talking about it on a very, very, very successful enormously heavily watched show. Of course, yeah. And, uh... Okay. Boy, you were... Are you telling me you were, you were on The Daily Show before this tonight? <laughs> <laughs> They won't let me be on The Daily Show because I'm not politically correct. So anyway, the, the, uh, this, is a, th this is a disaster for the Republican Party. It's a disaster for America. And I hope they pull their heads out of their butts sooner rather than later. Always a pleasure talking to you, man. Thank you. Actress, her new show, The Millers, premieres tomorrow night at 8.30 on CBS. Take a look at the Game of Maze, everybody. Game of Maze. Hello, Jamie. So you're an economist and a Republican. Absolutely. 
She's not. Yes. You booked two very similar guests tonight. No, no, that's all right. I like your dress, by the way. May I say? Thank you. It's what is that's not color blocking. It's more kind of 20th century masters, you I think. Well, I feel like it's futuristic. Mm, it, it might be solar bit. powered or something. Solar powered? Yeah. Yeah. Are you? Well. How are things? How, how, what's going on? Um, what's happening? What's happening? Will Arnett's in that show. He is. He's yeah. a Canadian. He is a Canadian. Yeah. yeah. He goes, oh, yeah. A he lot. goes, oh, yeah, yeah. He goes, oh, gosh. Do you know how smart he is? Is he smart? Very smart. And I can tell because he's got quite a large forehead. Have you seen <laughs> his forehead? Is that how you tell? Yeah, that's he does have a tall forehead. Yeah, yeah, he does. Packed yeah. with brains. Oh. I don't know what that says about me. I'm a little concerned. No, you've, got, you've got quite a big forehead right there. Is it by the inch? Is that. How we? <laughs> oh, you. I haven't seen you in a while. What have you been up to? Um, well, what have you been up to? Well, just to come here and, you know, quality entertainment yeah. for free. <laughs> also, I've been getting a lot of therapy. Oh, look at the, oh, uh, yes. Yeah, yes, see? Therapy uh, time. Mm -hmm. I am, mm -hmm. in fact, now a licensed therapist. Oh, you're a you're From a the University of Television City, <laughs> I am now okay. a licensed therapist. Okay. You in therapy? Uh, I'm not in therapy. I probably should have been in therapy at some Well, you're point. in therapy now. Okay, great. All right. Because I'm terrified of everything. What are you afraid of? I was going to oh, ask gosh, you. Oh, gosh, so many things. Are you afraid um, of bugs? Uh, not so much bugs, men in capri pants. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand it. They're either I've, hot I'd, or you're cold, guys. I'd, like, I'd, you know, figure it out. I, I don't believe I've ever seen men in capri pants. Oh, yeah. what? It's disturbing. Yeah. Yeah. I, it sounds kind of interesting. I might want some capri pants for myself. No, don't do it. Don't do yeah, it. Yeah, me and Ben Stein go on his boat on uh, the lake, and I could wear my capri <laughs> pants and a, a little crop top. I'd be like, hi! And then I'd be back in therapy if I saw No, it. come on. Yeah, yeah. So you're frightened of men in capri pants, but you don't mind bugs. What no, about slimy creatures, but, snakes, oh. and anything that looks quite penis-y? Yeah. <laughs> um, terrified. Really? Terrified of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, terrified of government shutdowns. Oh, yeah, that is terrified. frightening. Terrified, yeah. yeah. Have you been following this story? I, I mean, I can't really understand why they're doing this. Uh, no, I don't understand. But I don't understand a lot of things. Really? Um, <laughs> Yeah, no. But I feel like, you know, I, I, I get fr the frustration with it, but I also feel like, look, guys, I'm off a couple of days. I can come and help. I can, I could sweep the Let's Pentagon. Let's do it right here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You know, Yosemite shut down. I can open the gate. I'm good at keys. I you open the gate, the bears may get out. <laughs> then you're going to see some men in Capri pants. <laughs> 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 don't, don't, don't. No. Um, what about your husband? I mean, um, he's nice. He's English, you know. Is he still English? He's still, he's still English. Yeah. English American. Oh, he became a citizen. He's a citizen now. Yeah, but he yeah, still yeah. talks like this, though, yeah, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He? he does. Lovely man. It's all an act. Yeah. It's all an act. No, no. It's, did you just fall off the... Yeah, I yeah, did. You did one of those a little bit? Yeah. I saw I meant it. to do it. I was going to let you, I was gonna let you go, get away with it, and then I thought, no, I won't, actually. I'll... Yeah, meant to do it. Yeah, I've been working on that for a while. So, sometimes, you know what I've done a couple of times? Not tonight, yeah. but a couple of times, I've noticed that I've been talking to a guest and a bit of spit comes out me and lands Oh, on no. Him. Oh, no. And then I think, should I say anything about it? And I think, nah, no. best not, yeah. No. And I wonder if people see it. <laughs> no, no, I'm not spitting on it. That's why I've, I, I now sit far back. <laughs> so that's the lean back. Also, I had my tooth oh. fixed. It was my tooth that was doing it. It would make a little farty sound and then spit would come out. <laughs> Turning you on a little bit? Yeah. A little bit. I'm leaning this way. Yeah, no, you're all right. Do you go over to England with your husband? Uh, yeah, we do. We went this summer. Um, this is what I'm fascinated by. Oh, okay. I almost just did it again. Yeah, yeah, no, that's all right. Um, this is what I'm fascinated by, spit. Yeah. Uh, uh, they always go on walks. Did you do this growing up? So it's always about walking. Let's have a walk. Let's go for a walk. Yeah. A walk, which is really just a hike, as you're having a hike. Right. But in America, when you go on a hike, you end it by going, like, to see a beautiful waterfall or a beautiful vista at the Yeah, end. that's not how you do it over no. there. No, at the end of the walk there, it's a pub. Yeah, you go to the pub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, it, actually, the walk is really to get to the pub. Yes, yeah. 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 What they're really saying is don't drink and drive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the new show then, The Millers. Yes. Uh, it's about a family, I, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I seem to remember. <laughs> it is. Called The Millers? It's about, yes, about, you're very good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you just saw that one clip and you already No, no, I've that. seen, I've seen the whole thing. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Are you on Glee anymore then? I'm doing a few more. All right. Uh, and then, uh, and then it'll be all Millers all the time. Oh, all right. Yeah. So uh, Glee Millers then. Yeah, yeah. All right. That 
That's big news, actually. I probably should have got to that right away. <laughs> like, at the beginning of the show. It's all right. No, oh, okay. <laughs> so you're doing Glee, and then it's going to be the Millers, and it's about a family who, uh, they go for walks? It's about, uh, they, go for, they go for walks. Um, no, it's about, uh, it's about a family called the Millers. Will Arnett and I play brother-sister. Right. And their parents are Margot Martin, Dell, and Bo Bridges, and they get a divorce at this uh, time in their lives, and they... What, the, the older parents? The older parents. All right. They just get a divorce, like, in the, in the pilot. I'm not giving anything away. And, um... Yeah, they, don't give anything away, because this is, like, homeland. <laughs> <You> know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> People are like, no Miller spoilers, you bastard. Um, and then they get divorced and they move back in with us. So my dad moves back in with me and, ah. and my family. Uh oh, and, and is one of you neat and is one of you untidy? Uh, okay. I'm, well, I'm probably the more untidy. That My character is probably more untidy in this. Uh, can you get along without driving each other crazy? No. No, but can any parent and child relationship get along? Yeah, it's all, I mean, I've got kids. I, you know, I tell them what to do, and they do it, or they go to bed. There you go. Simple as that. Actually, that's not true. The older one now, he's like, no, man. No. Does he eye roll? That's what I do. I still eye roll when my you? parents tell me to do something. He's not eye roll. No, he's not. He's kind of a... No, no, he doesn't do that. Well, actually, a little bit like that. Yeah, he yeah. does a little bit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Attitude. Yeah. Well, he, no, he's a nice kid. It's, it's just... Um, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, that's the thing. I I don't mind that little bit of rebellion. It's all yeah, right. It's you like good. my socks? I love the socks. Yeah. Yes. They're actually tights. Are they really? Yeah. How, how, how far do they they go? Yeah, away? I get a bit cold here. Aren't you yeah. cold? A little. Yes. Yeah. Well, crazy. you should wear some tights. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next time, can I borrow those? Yeah, you, you can't. Can you this. know what? They'd never fit you. I'm, they'd be enormous on you. <laughs> they come. You'd look like here. a Dr. Seuss character. <laughs> <if you> <laughs> Uh, anyway, we're out of time. Oh, dear. So, um... Want to speak a little German? Oh, yeah. That's Swedish. Don't do that. Oh, no. Oh, uh, okay. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. Do you want, do you want to limber up a little bit? <coughs> Jeff will help you out. He'll coach you. You ready, yeah. Jeff? Yeah. You start to talk like this. Is that... Wer geht es dir? Oh. Did you actually say a German word? Because we don't actually know any German. Uh, no. No, I would never say something German on this show. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. You're getting a, you're getting a little bit French. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Now we talk like Dracula. We talk oh, like a Dracula. I do I cannot talk like a Dracula. That's you Italian. Oh. We'll do Italian. Italian, Italian Dracula. Yeah, what's a come and a go? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, we're out of time. <laughs> I'm. A, I was so happy to be here. <laughs> I didn't get any of that. Did you understand that? Uh, yeah. Jim and Maze, everybody. Where we're at. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> I have wood, Jeffrey. As you can see. And I'm throwing it on the fire. And we're going to sit here all night. And we're going to figure out this, uh, whatever that's going on in, uh, in Washington. Yeah, you and I are going to put our heads together. We're going to put our heads together, and the team of Ferguson-Peterson... Uh, or do you want it Peterson-Ferguson? No, Ferguson-Peterson. What fine. about... Uh, the sin is the same, so we could just be Fergie-Peterson. 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 <laughs> we will not rest until we are finished uh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Yes, that's right. And then, uh, you know, and also, you know, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll do some paperwork or something like that. Yeah, yeah, you know, we'll, you know, do some things. Listen, uh, if we said anything tonight that upset you, uh, okay. Okay. <laughs>